What's going on everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. And in this video, what we're gonna do is dig into the concept of scarcity a little bit more, and not just this video, over the next couple of videos. And if you remember, I brought up this word in the overview video of economics just in general. And in that video, what I mentioned is that scarcity is faced by consumers and producers in their own unique respective ways. So consumers face scarcity because they have limited income, while producers face scarcity because they have limited resources. Now, certain definitions or certain uh, words that you're going to see related to scarcity that are definitely going to come up, the two that really stand out is the concept of trade-offs and opportunity costs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just define these two concepts in general. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two concepts and relate it to consumers and producers. So we're gonna dig in a little bit more, but let's keep it general for now. Basically, a trade-off exists, or it's a situation where scarcity or limitations, or uh, another word is constraints. So if you remember limited income, that could also be called a budget constraint, or limited resources, that could be a production constraint. So a situation where constraints or scarcity force you to sacrifice something, or it could be multiple things, to get something else. Right? So just a very general definition, a situation where constraints force you, these limitations here, force you to sacrifice something in order to get something else. So basically, you can't have it all is basically what trade-offs mean. You got to make a certain choice between different alternatives. While an opportunity cost, let's actually keep this uh, singular, not plural. So an opportunity cost, out of all the different choices, you have, it's basically the highest valued alternative that is sacrificed when making a choice. Okay, so let's kind of break this down in an example. Let's pretend that we're a consumer. And so we have a limited amount of income. Let's say that we have $100. Now, what can we do with that $100? Well, let's say we can buy product A, good or service A. Let's say we could buy good or service B, or we could buy good or service C. There's going to be a bunch of things we could do with $100, not just these three things, but let's just keep it to these three for now for simplicity. And let's say that product A has a value to you as a consumer. Now, how do consumers value something? If you remember, I mentioned through utility, through the satisfaction that they derive from consuming it. So let's say there's a scale for utility, and let's say that uh, product A has a utility of 10. Product B has a utility of 8. Product C has a utility of 6. So because with this $100, with this limited income, limited money, you can only pick one of these three choices. So these are the different trade-offs that you face. Right? So you have to sacrifice something in order to get. So if we pick product A, we got to sacrifice B and C. If we pick product B, we got to sacrifice A and C. And we can only pick one product. Now, which one are we going to pick? 
we're going to pick the one with the highest utility. We're going to pick product A. So if we pick product A, we sacrifice product B and product C. We can't consume those. Now the opportunity cost of picking product A is the highest valued alternative that is sacrificed when making a choice. So we made a choice to pick product A and the opportunity cost is the highest valued alternative that is sacrificed. So out of these two, which one has the higher value? Product B. It has a utility of eight, product C has a utility of six. So product B, we say, is the opportunity cost of choosing product A, right? So trade-offs is the set of different choices that you have with this limited res or uh, limited income, limited money. And then after you make a decision, so after we choose product A, the opportunity cost of choosing product A is sacrificing product B because it's the highest valued alternative. So taking those two concepts of trade-offs and opportunity costs and applying them to both of these groups, consumers and producers, under consumers, trade-offs is basically the set of goods or services that can be consumed with limited income, while the opportunity cost is the highest valued good or service not consumed after you make the decision, from the decision that you make of which good or service to consume. And I put valued here, it's kind of general, but what determines value again for a consumer? Utility. So basically the highest utility that is sacrificed or the highest utility, good or service, not consumed after you make the decision to consume another good or service. Well, from a producer's point of view, they face trade-offs because they'll, uh, they'll have a set of goods or services that can be produced with limited resources. And so they have to make a decision. Once they make that decision, the opportunity cost of producing that certain good or service is the highest valued good or service not produced from making the decision. And if you remember, what do producers value? How do they measure value? From profit. So they're going to choose the good or service that is going to give them the highest profit with their limited resources and the highest profit good or service not produce or sacrifice from the decision to make the other good or service is the opportunity cost. So just in general, to illustrate the difference between trade-offs and opportunity costs is whether you're a consumer or producer, what's going to happen is in the real world, you're going to run into some scarcity, some constraints, whether that's limited income or uh, limited resources. And because of that scarcity, you're going to face trade-offs. Okay, or different uh, choices that you can make with your limitation, with your scarcity. So because you face trade-offs, because you can't have it all, quote unquote, you're going to have to make a decision or a choice. And then after you make that decision or choice, depending on the decision or choice you made, there's going to be an opportunity cost of that decision or choice. And the opportunity cost is going to be the highest valued alternative that is foregone from your decision and choice. All right, so this is sort of the, um, the timeline, if you will, of how things happen. And it kind of shows you the difference between what a trade-off and an opportunity cost. Trade-offs is kind of like what you face before the decision, and then after you make the decision is when you know what the opportunity cost of your decision is. So what we're gonna cover in the next couple of videos is there's actually a way to illustrate this problem here for a consumer and for a producer. For a consumer, this is going to be visually represented with something called a budget line. 
So that's what we're going to be covering in the next couple of videos. And then after that, this issue of trade-offs and opportunity costs faced by a producer is going to be visually shown through something called a production possibilities curve. And we're going to cover that concept and examples of that concept as well. Sometimes you'll see this called a production possibilities frontier. Right? So basically two different tools or visual ways to show how consumers and producers both face trade-offs and how to uh, show the opportunity costs of both of their respective decisions.